somebody in live chat was saying China is gonna fall. Who was it? I was gonna highlight that, but I lost it. I think it was Rudrish. China's economy might have a major um, collapse pretty at some point, but the overall growth is still gonna be positive. Like there's gonna be a there could be a major major collapse coming up, but. If that happens, it's still gonna after it's gonna go through a devastating period of time. If that happens, but it's still gonna lift itself back up and probably come back even stronger than before. Because if China does go through a major collapse because of the real estate and railroads and all the bubbles that it has created because of too much government influence, like China's growth, let me actually unhighlight this. Uh, China's growth has been because recently in the past couple of decades has been because of less government intervention but then the bubble creation the, the, that that has led into creation of a lot of bubbles because of still existing government intervention right obviously when you have a command economy from top to down you're going to get some very wacky weird stuff happening in your economy and some unnatural growth some bubbles that eventually have to be burst mm but i'm hoping that that burst of the bubble will remove a lot of the remaining government control of things in china and the the complete destruction of command top down economics from the ccp in china that's the failure of that like i will never bet against china I will bet against the CCP, okay? I know like there will there could be a major collapse coming, but I'm hoping that that will just there are a lot of people are going to suffer, but longer term I'm hoping that will just wash away all the negative influences of the CCP on its people uh, on its economy and with that by push by putting that away after going through a period of pain, I'm hoping China will rise back from that stronger than ever before like all the benefits that we saw from just a little bit loosening of a grip of the government from the economy that this she is now undoing some of it i'm hoping that how much more it would be if the remaining grip will be would would be removed right so yeah i'm not betting i'm short term yes i'm betting against China's economy, but if we're taking, if you're talking like, I don't know, 50 years, I'm, I, I'm betting in favor. <laughs> I would bet, I would bet in favor of Chinese economy. Yeah. But yeah, the, I don't know what's going to happen in the next couple of years. It looks in China, it looks scary. Like the, the economy, like the bubbles, the economic bubbles that exist that are ready to burst. I don't know what the effect that of that is going to be if that happens. Like every single one of us is going to feel that. Every single if I I don't know, man, which it's going to put like the 2000 is it like I, again, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but if it is as bad as but it seems to be if it just bursts all of a sudden rather than just like a slow collapse, then it could make the 2008 market collapse looks like look like child's play i i am scared i'm scared of what that's gonna do atheist republic needs your help we have been the target of many legal attacks by hindu nationalists ever since our founder armin Avabi blasphemed against hindu deities we have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in india we have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.